lovelies, how are you today? And welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and I'm the sole proprietor of SAEH Body Butter. And I hope you enjoy the next video. Thank you. Hello lovelies. I'm planning to do a tutorial on the faux rhinestone t-shirt and I'm working out of Cricut and so the first process is to find your uh, rhinestone SVG file and load it up into Cricut and so I have mine here and I'm going to load it and put it on my canvas waiting on Cricut to uh there we go all right I have the file that we're going to work with and you size it to the dimension of your uh holographic heat transfer vinyl make sure it's the appropriate size and my uh, vinyl is uh, 10 by 12 so my current size is 10.708 by 10.55 so the height is okay but it's too wide so I need to change that dimension because again my holographic vinyl is only 10 inches wide so we're going to make this nine and a half and nine and a half by ten and a half. I can work with that. So after you get your measurements straight and everything, we're going to go to make it. And it's going to pull it up on the uh, mat. So I like to move mine over to the right a little and down a little. Just in case I uh, don't place it on the mat exactly. So I move it over to the right a little and down a little. Okay. I've moved it over and everything looks good. So I'm working with the uh, Cricut Explore Air 2. So I've turned my dial to light cardstock on the third dot because those are the instructions for my uh, holographic vinyl. Alrighty. So, what we're going to do now is place the holographic vinyl onto the mat. And doesn't that look pretty? Look at that sparkle. So, what I'm going to do is let me see if I can position the camera so that you can see. Okay. There we go. So with any type of heat transfer vinyl, you place it on the mat upside down. So shiny side goes face down. I 
smooth it out and make sure that it's laying flat. And then I'm going to feed it into the machine as such. Okay, let's come back to the computer. And because it's face down, you have to mirror the image. Okay, I think I need to move it over to the move it over to the left just a little. Okay. I think that should do it. All right. We've mirrored the image. We've placed the holographic heat transfer vinyl on the mat face down. We've got it turned to light cardstock on the third dot and each vinyl will be different so you follow the specific instructions of your vinyl. So everything looks to be set up good. So we're gonna click on continue. All right, he got light cardstock plus, and I'm gonna change the uh, pressure of the tube to deep point, and then we're gonna apply. And whoop, look like that's trying to lift up. I probably need to clean my mat. We press the button. right there and yeah, it's blinking at me alrighty she is cutting now this is somewhat of a large file so this may take a good 30 minutes so instead of boring you I will bring you back once it's finished Okay, we are almost finished. We are at 99%. So this file took approximately about 35 minutes to cut. The process will be the same if you were doing uh, a rhinestone template out of rhinestone flock. But this is the faux rhinestone method, which is much easier because you're using less materials alrighty she is finished so let me get my t-shirt set up and what I typically like to do um, is press my t-shirt for about five seconds to get out the moisture that would uh, almost guarantee that you get a secure adhesion whether you're doing heat transfer vinyl rhinestones or what have you uh, so right now I'm waiting for the heat press to heat up to 320 and I think uh, the uh, heat transfer vinyl the holographic it presses for 15 seconds so once we get up to temperature I will bring you back so while we're waiting for the uh, heat press to heat up I'll release the mat from the Cricut and I will show you how I weed this very easy to do Let's see if I can. Sorry about my hand being in the way. Okay. So, I was taught to pull the material off the mat and not the mat off the material. So you just turn your mat upside down and release your um, heat transfer vinyl. So 
So let's see here. Where's my weeding tool? Of course, I don't have my weeding tool with me. I think it's in another room somewhere, but anywho, can you see all the little circles there? So, let's see here. I'm trying to get a piece from the corner. I got these little nails going on and now I can't do nothing. I don't know how people work with nails that are much longer than these. Okay, let's see. Alrighty, it's trying to come up, trying to get me a corner. Alrighty, and you just slowly pull, slowly pull, so you can make sure that you're getting, leaving all the circles on the transfer sheet. Just barely made it on that side. Okay, and there we have it. Let me turn you back around. So, this is the transfer right there. And you just place that on your t-shirt your tote bag, or what have you. Now, this is what I like to refer to as my positive side. Okay? And no want, no waste. This is my negative side. You can use this portion of the heat transfer vinyl and press this on a t-shirt or a tote bag. And say, for instance, if you're doing a gift set, you can use this for the t-shirt, right? And then you can use this as a tote bag and have a, a set. So you don't have to throw this portion away. You can still use this. But for today's video, I'm just going to use the positive side. So I think my heat press is heat up. Yes, it is. 320. So like I said, we're going to press this for uh, about five seconds. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to pull it off the press and put it on my table so that I can put the uh, transfer in the center of the t -shirt. Okay, here we go with the transfer on the t-shirt. It's about three inches down and we have five and a half inches on both the right and the left side. So everything looks good for me. So let's go take it to the press. Okay. The t-shirt is on the press and we have it set for 320 and I don't put a Teflon sheet on top of the carrier sheet because um, from experience it prevents the transfer from getting all the heat and it may not adhere to the shirt properly. So this is just fine. Fifteen seconds and it's a cool peel.
Alrighty. Like I said, it's a cool pill. So I'm gonna put the phone down on the stand. And we're gonna move the t-shirt off the press. I'm gonna take it back over to my table so it won't be under the heat. It'll help it cool quicker. Oops, sorry for my hand being in the way again. So you can rub your hand over it. Rub your hand over it to try to help it cool down some. It's still rather warm. It's still rather warm. So we're going to let that sit there for about a second or so before I attempt to pull it off. Alrighty. It feels cool. So we're going to start from this right hand corner. It really doesn't mind matter which side you start from. And you pull slowly just to make sure that all your little dots is stuck to the t-shirt. You don't want to rip it off like a band-aid. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see if I can get this stable. Alrighty, let's continue. Alrighty. All the dots are on the shirt. There's none left on the transfer sheet. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You see that sparkle? From this point of view, it looks like rhinestones. It looks like rhinestones. So that's basically the process on how to create a faux rhinestone effect. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Alrighty, stay tuned.